All right, so this week we're gonna talk about custom brushes and we're gonna do a technique that's, it's a variation of a technique that Burt Monroy did some time ago where he created some stitching as a custom brush. Well, I'm gonna take it a bit further and show you how you can kind of stylize it and make it look like kind of like sloppy stylized stitching. It'll make sense in a moment, but let's, that's where we're gonna start with. So I, here I have an image of a denim texture. And this is in fact the denim texture I created as a down and dirty trick in Photoshop User Magazine some time ago. So what we're gonna do is actually just put a tear line in here and then add the stylized stitching to it. Like it was a really sloppy repair on this, uh, this denim fabric or something like that. So let's begin, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new blank layer on this. And I'm gonna go in here and choose the brush tool in my toolbar and we're gonna get a relatively good size brush, about, about a 19 on this particular image looks pretty good. And we're gonna open up the brush panel, click on this icon here, and all I wanna make sure is that the shape dynamics is activated and that my size jitter is set to zero, but the control is set to pen pressure because I am in fact using a pressure sensitive tablet. Now, if you weren't using a pressure sensitive tablet, you could probably just maneuver this uh, size jitter slider anywhere just to give some variation to the line, or you don't have to do it at all. You can just simply draw the line. The point is, is that it's a freehand line. So I'm gonna start over here on the right side and just draw across the document just like that. So it's kind of uneven, it's a little bit wavy like a tear would be. Most tears are not perfectly straight, so that's what we want. So now that is on its own layer, so because I want to apply a layer style to it. So I'm gonna double click on the icon and we'll bring up the layer style dialog. It's gonna activate a bevel and emboss. And what I wanna do is actually set the style to outer bevel. And we're gonna set this direction to down. I'm gonna go ahead and click off the use global light and you can see what happens. It kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. Like it's an actual, got depth in it, a little bit of a cut there. So all that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click okay. And now what we want to do is go ahead and create the stitching itself. So what I'm gonna do is actually create that in a new document. So I'm gonna go under file new and let's go ahead and create about a 600 by 600 at 100 DPI. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new blank layer in this file. And I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm just gonna come up here. I'm just gonna click once up here and I'm gonna click down here. And I'm just gonna give this a slight bend by dragging out the curve here as when I click and drag, I can bend the, uh, the path out here. I'm just gonna give it a slight bend to about right there. So that is my path using the same brush we used a while ago, but I'm going to turn off that pressure sensitivity. So now when I draw the line, it's straight and flat. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit smaller. Let's go with about a 15, I think it looks good. So in my paths panel, if I go over here and highlight that particular path, I can go into the pullout menu and go to stroke path using the brush tool, click okay, and there it is applied it to there. Well now on that same layer, what I'm gonna do is actually make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm gonna use the right bracket key and just make that brush just a little bit bigger and just drop one piece here and one piece there. So now it looks like, almost looks like a, a, a shoelace or something like that. But now what we wanna do is define this particular graphic as a brush. So I'm gonna load it as a selection. I'm just gonna command or control click directly on the layer. We'll load it as a selection. We're going to the edit menu and go to define brush preset. And we'll just call it stitch. Looks good, minimize that. And you can see it's already taken on the appearance of our stitching brush. Let's go ahead and make the size, bring the size down considerably to kind of go along with the size of our image here. Right about like that size I think looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new blank layer here. And now let's adjust something where I'm gonna first get change the color and I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a yellow stitching. So let's go inside the color picker and choose a relatively deep yellow color. We'll click OK. So if I start to paint, you can see what's going on here. It's painting it, but now we've got to change the behavior of the brush as we paint. So let's bring up the brush panel. So first thing I'm gonna do is activate shape dynamics. And I'm gonna bring the size jitter to about 15%. And I'm gonna go down here where the angle is and let's gonna change this to about five. Actually, no, let's go with about three on that one. And I'm gonna take the size jitter up considerably more. Now, here's where you can get a little creative with it. All the way to zero has it completely even. Almost looks like it's like machine stitch or something like that. We want this to be kind of sloppy, like it was hand stitched poorly. 
So we're going to increase that size jitter quite a bit. And then we're going to go up here in the brush tip shape and increase the spacing. Just to the point where they're perhaps touching a little bit. I'm going to space it out to about there. It looks like we're going to have to go back into the shape dynamics and just modify that angle a little bit, just so they're touching. So we're getting that kind of really interesting stat static look. So let's just do a test and see what we got here. I think that size is jittering a little too much. There, I think that looks pretty good. Let's actually bring in that spacing just a little bit more. So that looks good, I think. So let's go up in here, make that brush a tad smaller. And all I'm going to do is just trace over this line with that brush all freehand. This gives it that much more loose, kind of sloppy feel to it. So let's just drag our mouse over. And now we've gone ahead and stitched up that area of our image. But it might look like stitching, but it doesn't actually look like it's not realistic yet. Not like the background is. So let's go ahead and apply some layer styles to give it a much more realistic look to it. Well, the first thing is let's apply a bevel and emboss. And let's modify the direction of the light. Maybe increase that depth a little bit. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply a texture to this. If I highlight that, I can go up here in a texture window. And what I'm going to use is this one right here. Second row, fifth one over. Just select that and see what happens to the text. It kind of takes on that twine kind of look to it. But I'm going to bring the scaling down just a little bit. Let's go with about 50% on that. And that tends to give it a little bit more realistic to it. I'm going to take this depth down probably to about 60. It was a little less harsh. I think that looks pretty good. Now let's activate an outer glow. And I'm going to go over here into the color picker and choose just a black color. And we're going to set the blend mode to multiply. So let's increase the size slightly and the spread just to give it kind of some shadow and a little bit of you know impression um, into the denim around the stitching area here. Let's get my add opacity back up. So now I think that looks pretty good. So it looks like we're getting some really convincing stitching there. So you can modify these layer styles a little bit depending on your liking and everything like that. But let's go ahead and actually I'm gonna change this to precise. The technique, you can change the precise and it gets it much more tighter in there. Yeah, I think I like that better. That looks a lot better. So now we'll click OK. So there we've got what looks like some pretty convincing stitching going on. If we wanted to take this a little bit further, we could go in here and modify this by darkening. Let's get the burn tool and perhaps darken this areas around where the threads or meat going into the denim just to give some color variation and I think that looks pretty good. Now let's just add some text. We have a stitch in time right there. Pretty cool stuff. So gives you a, a really good idea of the all kinds of really cool effects you can apply or achieve with just using custom brushes and layer styles all inside Photoshop. So have fun with it, and we'll see you next time.